welcome to Just Like Candy with Candy. And today I am going to teach you guys how to use Cash App. What is Cash App? How do you use it? And I mean, if you just want to stand in that long line at Walmart, and do MoneyGram or Walmart to Walmart and pay that expensive fee, by all means, go ahead. But if you want to do it for absolutely free, yeah, I said free, from your hand, your phone, and an app, I can teach you how to do that. Let me get my materials together and we'll get right into it. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the Cash App. Now, I have already linked my debit card, so if you are going to download the Cash App app, make sure you have a prepaid card or your bank debit card, but, and that's okay if you don't have either of those. Make sure you have a bank account. So make sure you have the account number for the bank account, or if you don't know your bank account, you can go um, into, it's going to say no card. And then it's going to ask, what bank do you bank with? It'll ask, you know, a few more details and it'll eventually link you to your bank, bank account. So if you're a person that, you know, you don't carry your debit card everywhere with you, you can link it here with the app. It'll keep it saved for you. Um, if you're a person that you just lost your debit card and um, let's just say it's a holiday, you, the bank's not open, you could download this app here, you could put in your bank information and it'll link you to your bank. Now, I already have my debit card linked to the Cash App, so we're going to go over some basics. It's really nothing to it, guys. Like I said, Cash App is just a free way to receive and send money to other people. So we're gonna go here. And I, like I said, I have my stuff already uh, linked up. Now, once you download the Cash App app, you're gonna have a routing number and account number. So Cash App, you're always, you're always gonna have a routing number and an account number. Now, if you want to receive a card from Cash App, that's okay too something you could carry around in your purse or wallet. So all you have to do is hit this button and it'll, they'll send you a cash card. Now, once you press that button, it's gonna ask you some information like your name, your address, your birth date, and this card is gonna come in the mail to you. Now, along with this card, you know, I see that they're offering some little incentives here. You can get a dollar off uh, for coffee, a dollar off a lift ride, and it was something else. So you would choose one of these. They're not gonna give you all of them, but you choose one of these and it's gonna be linked to your card. And that's just an incentive, like a thank you saying, you know, thank you for wanting our cash card. And this cash card, you can use it at your local grocery store, you can use it at the mall, you can get gas. It's a prepaid card, money that you put on it. Um, and you could do it from your cash app or like a local Walmart, Kroger, whatever. You can load your card at the register. So let's go back. So here, deposits and transfers. Like I said, you're always going to have a routing number and an account number. Cash app is like a miniature bank, okay, um, that you just can't walk into every day and you're going to talk with the banker. This is an app. So... If you have a job, you can enable direct deposit. So let's say you don't have a bank account, but you downloaded the Cash App app. You have a routing number and account number where you can get your paycheck loaded into the Cash App. And you can use it at any grocery store, just like you know, you'll have your, your cash card if you, you know, decide to get the cash card. You'll be able to use it anywhere at the mall, get gas, whatever your little heart desires. So you can get direct deposit here from the app if you don't have a bank account. And even if you have a bank account and you just want something, let's say $50 direct deposited out of each check into your cash app, you can do that here. You can pick any amount that you want. 
load it into your direct deposit. You can have it automatically added from your bank or you can have it, uh, they wanna know how often do you want it. So we're just gonna hit this and it's gonna say, how often do you wanna add cash to this card? You have a choice, daily, weekly, monthly. Okay, let's go back. So how much? Let's say $50, like we had talked about. So if you get paid bi-weekly, you can put, I want to add cash to this card. Mm, weekly, monthly, they don't have bi-weekly. So I don't know why, but they don't. So let's just say every month you want $200. There's four weeks in a month. You want $200 loaded into your um, cash card or your cash app account. It'll do that for you. Now, let's say uh, you want to send money. So this is what I was talking about in the intro of our video. So a lot of people, they send money, they go to Walmart or they go to Kroger, H-E-B, whatever your local food market is, no matter where you are, and they stand in line and they fill out a form for uh, either Western Union, MoneyGram, Walmart to Walmart, or whatever the store may offer, you know, their store brand of sending money. You have to pay a fee. Well, guys, if you download the Cash App app, you can send money, receive money, add cash, or even cash out your money to yourself or to your debit card or bank account for free. There's no charge. Now, to receive money, um, there is no charge. It's nothing. If I send someone $50, they're going to receive $50. No problem. So these are the limits. You can send up to $17,500 a month. You can receive an unlimited amount of cash. You can add $7,500 a week if you like, and you could cash out up to $25,000. So back to what we were talking about. So linked uh, accounts, I linked my debit card. You can link a credit card or you can, now you see here it says you can send using any major credit card at just 3%. So there is a charge if you send money with your credit card or you can link your bank account and that's something we talked about earlier. Okay, so let's go back. And if you wanna, you know, these are all the banks that they're offering that they could can connect to your bank account if you you know don't know it all you need is your username and password and bam you're in your bank account so if you lose your debit card cash app is also and don't if you lose your debit your debit card and you don't know your bank account number cash app is a really good way to access those funds if you're unable to make it to the bank or the bank is closed, let's just say it's a Sunday or a major holiday, you can still access your funds. All is not lost, friends. So there's a lot of advantages to cash apps. All right, so to get started with your cash app, it's gonna ask you for information. Um, your personal information, your name, your address, uh, your city and state, just basics. So Cash App is not the type of company where you call and you're on hold and you're, there's a live operator. Cash App uh, works with a Cash App support team and it's mainly through email. So, and those emails, they try to do them as quick as they can. Um, privacy and security, you can put a security lock with a pin. Um, you can allow others to find you at your cash app address or your cash app name. Um, mind you, you're the only person that will have this cash app name. When you start your account and you make up your name, if someone else has it, it will not allow you to go forward. Um, do I allow other people to ask me for money? Yeah, yeah, it might be my brother. He might be like, hey, I'm stuck in, in on the side of the road and I need $100, Can, you know, and he's requesting money. All I have to do is go on my cash app and just shoot, send him $100. Um, do I allow everybody and anybody? Of course, or you can do it to your contacts only, but I allow everybody. And now notifications. Um, so, these are ways that Cash App, the support team, can contact you. Um, and it, I want them to send it through text. Nine times out of ten, that's what you'll get, or your email. 
So they can either text me, they can call me, or they can send me an email. And I wanted to be able to receive cash team notifications from them as well. They may have a message uh, that they need to send me saying, hey, did you just send a thousand dollars to uh, Rufus DeMario, whatever. And I can say, who the heck is that? You know, all of that will be through text or through email. All right. So I don't have any documents or anything from them. And this is the support that I was telling you about. So, you know, they're asking me, hey, do you need help with your stimulus? You know, hey, they got to track your payment. You know, what will you receive? How you receive it? You can also get your stimulus here. Like I said, Cash App is like, Cash App is a bank, okay? You, you have a routing number, you have an account number, you can get your stimulus, you can get your tax refund, you can get child support, anything that has an account number or routing number, you can receive it here on Cash App. How convenient. All right, so I wanted to do an example um, with you guys. Let's go here. You have your own scanner here. They can scan in money for you from their cash app, or you can scan money to them from your cash app. You don't have to have cards in hand. You don't have to um, send the money through the cash app. You can just scan each other's phones. How cool is that? And you can share your cash tag, Instagram, text message, with other people, you could copy your cash tag link. Let's see what else is here. Look, you could, I mean, sky's the limit. You could send it up through, does it have email? Email. Do, oh, now here, if you want to take your photo off, you don't have to have a photo, guys. Um, you could take your photo off. You can take a new photo. Um, choose something that's already in your, um, in your photo photo book on your phone you can edit your name or edit your cash tag so i have my debit card already linked and i'm gonna add let's see if i can add a dollar okay so i added the dollar my husband dollar and it's saying it was sent a dollar will be deposited once my grant completes the payment you can send money to people and if you're not sure if they received it it sends you like a receipt back okay so there we go So he's saying he got it, it's completed today at 348. So and we can also check the receipt. So yeah, the receipt saying that I sent him a payment and he got it. Alright. So that's pretty much guys. Um Cash App. I mean, if you want to send money to anybody, you know, in the U.S., you got it right here for free. Download the app. This was just a quick tutorial um, on how to use it and the advantages and the disadvantages of having Cash App. But, you know, I felt I had to do a video because my brother-in-law, um, my brother-in-law, my brother, and a few other people that I know... Oh, okay, he's letting me know. Uh, a few other people that I know don't know what the heck Cash App is, and I just thought everyone walking this God green earth knew about Cash App. So I was like, oh my gosh. I, you know, I was telling my brother, he's in LA. I'm like, wow, I could send you, you know, the money for free. It wouldn't even be a, a fee, you know? And he's just lost in the sauce about the whole thing. So, you know, hopefully he'll watch the video, he'll get a better understanding, and then 
there we go. I won't have to stand in long lines at Walmart and pay, you know, 13 to 20 dollars to send, you know, 13, 20 bucks. I can fill my gas tank up and go do something productive or get a hamburger meal or something instead of paying fees. So when I heard that this was free, I was like, oh, wow, why not? The few people left on this earth that don't know anything about cash out. And parents, this is also good for your children um, as well. If they're stuck at a field trip or if they're at school and they don't have lunch money or something, you can, you know, use the cash app. It, it's always good. All right, guys. So I'll see you next time. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Hope you enjoy. Have a good night.